Now, Orange Democratic Movement leader Raila Odinga says he does not require President Uhuru Kenyatta's endorsement in 2022, but the only thing he would need from the head of state is his vote. At the same time, Odinga downplayed accusations that he just had one bullet left in his political arsenal. The opposition chief also expressed commitment to obey and respect the appeals court judgment should it rule to sink the BBI process. Nonetheless, Odinga said there is still sufficient time to conduct a referendum after the August judgment. Odinga spoke to Sam Ogina. August is the month that... Uh you are hoping that we'll be having a referendum, but that is the month that uh, the appeals court will be issuing the judgment on the BBI. Does this uh, throw your timelines into a spin? No, uh, there is really no, no, no limit to the time you can have a referendum. A uh, referendum can even be held two months or three months before the general election. So uh, it is not really a big deal in our view. And therefore, uh, time is still on our side. Um, as soon as we have a, a, a ruling, we'll agree on the, the, the appropriate date for a uh, referendum. And then that will be itself also part of the preparations for the general elections. Do we have to have the referendum before the elections? Before the? The elections. Yeah. And why is that important? Preferably. That would be really the best because in the BBI, there are proposals to increase the number of parliamentary seats, the constituencies. And, um, and then secondly, there's also the issue of uh, two-third gender rule, which is also supposed to be satisfied. As I remember, the court has ruled that uh, the parliament right now currently is um, unconstitutionally constituted. And the chief justice actually advised the president to dissolve parliament. Okay? So this, this parliament is existing illegally. Uh, but if nothing is done, if we don't change the constitution, still we'll end up the, the same same anomaly in, in the next uh, coming parliament. And that's why it is better for us to have a permanent solution through a referendum and, and, and passing the BBI. And on the flip side, the IBC says uh, it's not ready to demarcate the, the new constituencies within time. The IBC fellow. Um, He's talking his opinion. But we, as you know, more members are going to be added to the IBC. And uh, IBC, uh, of course, in terms of resources, we will have enough resources. They are demanding outrageous figures uh, for doing elections, making Kenyan elections the most expensive, not only on the, on the continent, but in the world. You've been quite coy about your 2022 presidential ambitions, but uh, in Mombasa recently, you actually made a pledge that if you're president, then you uh, will prioritize corruption. Does this, is this the clearest signal that you're running for president? I never said that I was running for president. I, I talked of us. I did not talk of me uh, as Raila Odinga. And um, I was basically addressing what I see as a cancer in this country, the issue of corruption. So not necessarily, not necessarily Raila Odinga, but at the same time your party is already in uh, coalition talks with the Jubilee Party. <laughs> yes, coalitions, coalitions is uh, uh, a healthy development. How far, in, the, how far are the talks? They are, uh, there's a task force. Um, which has been set up um, with the officials from both sides, which is carrying out uh, talks. So I won't tell you how far they are. Um, you just wait for their outcome. And, um, I, I think it may be soon. Yeah. Any possibility of Raila Odinga supporting 
uh, any other candidates and fate of NASA as they wound up? Why not? Um, I, it does not have to be myself. Uh, remember in my other uh, early incarnation, when nobody else at th th that time was willing to step down, I basically uh, had the courage to come out and say, Mr. Kibaki Tosha. Your relationship with uh, your former running mate, Kalon Kalonza Musioka, mm. how is it? Because one time you are saying this, he's saying the exact opposite, that he, he cannot cede ground to support you ever again. Yeah, we are not fighting. You know, Kenyans are not just used to democratic discussion. You know, um, when Kalonzo says uh, he will uh, be very stupid to support me, he's just expressing an opinion, you see, and that's not a crime. And when I said I never asked him to support me, <laughs> eh, that he is backing, I'm also not, not, not fighting him. And it's just like a banter. There's no war between us. We talk, we discuss, the, there may be some minor disagreement, differences here and there. Um, but we, we, when we meet, we are able to solve them. So don't take so seriously. <laughs> uh, some of those pronouns. <laughs> 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 but uh, in terms of taking up as NASA, working together as NASA again? Not necessarily as NASA again. Um, you can have the new formations. You can say we, we, the energy is NASA. We, we, we can do many things. Uh, uh, going forward. And uh, as you know, they have what they call the One Kenya Alliance that they, they established. And um, we are here with the ODM Jubilee, uh, which we can then bring together. We can work together uh, with uh, those colleagues. So the door is not closed. Um, it is still open. Uh, we, we can talk and agree on certain issues. Why do I feel like there's uh, this scenario cropping up of, well, Kitambo, it was 40, 41 against one, I suppose. Mm. And uh, right now, the, the, the coalition building, is it targeted at one person, Deputy President William Ruto? No, at all. I mean, who is William Ruto to be worried about? Huh? I mean, uh, uh, I don't think I've never been a thing like that. And that is, you are performing a, a large a to fight William Ruto. Why? Huh? Who is William Ruto to be fought? Yeah, I'm not sure what this idea is. I'm not sure what this idea is. I'm not sure what this idea is. Nini <laughs> Your relationship with the President Uhuru Kenyatta, the other day you released a statement urging him on the rejection of the six judges who were supposed to be sworn in, urging the administration to make public uh, the reasons why the six judges were not sworn in. Mm. This has not happened. Is this good enough? My view is that uh, the rule of law should be respected. Uh, I think it is in, in our interest to run our affairs as a country 
in an, an orderly fashion. Uh, you have a, a person in the, in the president who, going by recent examples, there are actually a number of court orders that he has not obeyed, uh, one of them being the, the very recent one that we are talking about. What does that, you, you don't feel conflicted dealing with the, with the president that way? Judicial activism is also not good for uh, uh, democratic governance in a country. Okay, um, when for example, the, the president transfers uh, responsibilities, like taking a, a state corporation to be managed by another department of government, I don't think it is right for judiciary to uh, issue an injunction that the president cannot do that. How, how do you order your government uh, as an executive? 